guys, welcome back. So today, na we have to talk about. Na talo kufanya ni na talo kuapatia a video where I'm I'm detailing the step by step process. At the same time, to the review machine is not working. I go I go to the new machine. New machine to the review of the new machine. So we are doing two things at once. Yeah, each of us we see a client. He can't go to. So we are just. Trying to dry it and we also come out with a soma. Today, nataka kupatia na a step by step process of fencing in Kenya. And uh, as you can see, we are fencing as a small plot here. Na the reason why we are so many is because we have a machine we are testing, which you shall see. So number one, always make sure you identify your rad beacons. Go to your site, identify the rad beacons, and when you identify the rad beacons, now take accurate measurements of your rad. Make sure that you can have the right uh, measurements of the rod. Why? This is very critical as it's for knowing you know, the fundamentals of how many posts you need, all the materials you need will come from measuring your you um, having accurate measurements the reason why you're seeing me on the phone is because uh, this this is an article i've already written on my website you can as you can see you can see it as i'm scrolling it down here uh, so if you have time you can go and check the article um, or perhaps you, you can use it as a written document number two calculate your post requirements now when you when so let, let me just read eh? divide the total perimeter by the by the recommended spacing between posts typically three meters or 10 feet so the spacing we put per post in 10 in 10, in 10 feet are three meters but in this case it's less than 25 feet eh? now we can divide 25 by three unapata ni eight so to make after eight after eight not to make heli kuen heli kuen are spacing kuliko kukuwa na more spacing the reason why you we recommend three is because barbed wire tends not to hang with three but with more than three you hang you hang so it's not good to any you see the maximum spacing i can recommend in one when you con a limited budget is 12 feet or 3.5 meters wide but anything beyond that Yo, I wouldn't recommend that you can do it. It's people does that, but I would not, I would not recommend for that. Now, ukiye sabu, ukiye sabu shamba, ukiye sabu plot iso post the new itazi. It's always good to identify corners. So, if I told you this is 25 feet, you divide by 10, you get 2.5. That's the post, and you don't how uh, the sabu ukona corner. Eh? You, you need an extra post for that corner. And also, in this corner, unaitaji a support post. Kitu ya support. That's why unaona uh, any post ya support. So, ukiesabu the total perimeter, you, first of all, you divide the total perimeter by 10 feet, ama 3 meters. You plus one for the one corner, sasa kama hii. And then, when you, you ukisha mariza hapo, unakuja each corner. Kasa sa hii yaka ni kadogo sana na kana kona pale ida kona na ida kona na i. You add two posts for every corner as a support. Ni kama support ya ya hizo ya hizo vikingi. So uli ili ukivuta waya ukivuta waya hivi ida kikingi itingi kiki na ikifika apa peni unavuti ya itingi kiki. And then if it's a long stretch more than thirty meters, ama more than a hundred feet, always. Add an, a break in between just to increase the strength 
Nona. So it's good to plan for corners and breaks. So easy, you multiply for every corner you add extra two extra posts. As you mean you have ten corners, you add two extra posts for each corner. So that's another twenty posts. So uh, and then we go to barbed wire requirements. So come up. Uh, one thing you have to to kisha koroga to take a barbed wire there. The next step is you calculate barbed wire requirements. Now, before water who has a barbed wire, you can realize that we are there to nakoroga. Uh, one thing I have to caution people: we see koroga leo and then we can barbed wire leo because it is quite strong. Eh, you king kingi barbed wire jashika. So give it time, about two to three days, and then make sure uki uki koroga ya kikingi una una muagiri amazi at least those three to four days. Eh. At least if I need proper curing, is is There is no need of doing all this work, and then the cement does not cure. So the concrete has to cure and give it time, about two to three days. Okay. Now let's calculate barbed wire. So barbed wire. Let me just read. At least he he ni better ni 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 better. And remember, it's mianomodi.com. Just go online, search mianomodi. The way we calculate barbed wire is you divide the total length. Eh? You div at least you, you divide the total length of barbed wire. Okay, let's assume you're putting come up and take a six rows. Eh? When you take a six rows, you need measurements. Eh? Easy measurements that could just divide by the total number. Uh, let's assume that uh, he, he ought to be on an 14 meters. Eh? With 14 meters, in the good and end, and he divide uh, 14, he multiply 14 times 6. So to get the, the, the barbed wire I require because I, I, I need 6 rows. So 14 times 6, you get 84 meters. So basically, it's 54, 84 meters only. Now, kuna barbed wire 84 meters. So I will go and purchase the smallest barbed wire na as a pattern. Mele wa amani scavenge barbed wire enye na ezapata. Now for you mwenye uko na shamba kubwa take the total perimeter multiply it by the total number of lines una hitaji. So for me hata hapa na ezae kata mara 10 juu sasa itabidi niweke kare karol kadogo ka 40 meters. But sasa for, for you ukikama uko na shamba kubwa you shall multiply by the number of rows you need and then you divide it by what is in the market. So, kwa market, unapatanga kuna rolls are 6, 10 meters for 80, 540, na zingine za 240. Now, this, there is a question mark hapo. Most of the companies in Kenya, when you go to hardware, most 99%, other than 90, the 99% of the barbed wire you find in Kenya, as ikwangi, Zimefika the meters as advertised. So, when a patanga is it's ten, it's almost five hundred meters. You have for forty, ata ijafika for fifty. You have for eighty, it's almost three hundred. You have two forty, it's almost one eighty. So it's good to know that. Na kitu ni mepima, and I, 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 yato ukakuja tu pima sahi namtu. To end us anywhere we do that physically, ni mepima evo. There are few companies who are excluded in that. Moja ni hii na jita shamba. It's not advertisement. Eh? I, today, by the way, coincidentally, I just bought uh, rolls for someone. I'm going to fence for in Udaya. And Izo Babdwaya, kama wame advertise 500 meters, they are 500 meters. That's the difference. So it's good. Ata uki hesabu si zeme ni iya six ten. Kama unanunua those in the normal Rocco hardware to to Babdwaya then. Make sure that you, you are buying the barbed wire. Eh, uki hesabu your total requirement. How divide na six ten? At least minus a hundred. I'm a fi, I'm a fifty. Come and easy dogo minus by fifty. Na come and easy kubwa minus by about a hundred meters. Trust you me. When you do it, experience is the best teacher. Ni experience and offense are out of ni 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 metu miya hizo barbed wire so many times. So I'm I, I'm pretty sure what I'm speaking about. So, same case applies to chain ring. Eh? Chain ring, when I advertise the Q18 meters, when I put 15 meters. Well, this is a cut across the board. So, now to when you out to a chain ring, you reduce, because as a camera, you can work a barbed wire, eight rows, at least you reduce it because of cost. 
especially but kama una shida ya cost you can continue with the 8 rows ama 10 rows weke chain link juu but because of cost you can reduce the number of barbed wire weke kama 4 5 to 4 rows ama 6 rows ama even sometimes we tunaweka ngata tunaweka tatu hiyo chain link hiyo barbed wire kwapo kusaidia kufunga now at least to my hiyo now tukitoka kwa barbed wire na chain link we go to the post the posts I recommend zina kuanga treated. Na ni kama hizi na nimetumia. The reason uno na hizi ziko crooked ni zile marijek zangu. Hizi ndo, yeah, zile, zile reject ndo hizi. Ndo hizi unaona hapa. But now, other than that, yeah, we, we have cedar posts, which are kuna precis kama inakuru, naivasha, nyandarwa. They are very available and very cheap. Ukikuja preska, joska, easy area. Uko they import them in bulk, na unazipata in very good prices. About 400 or less. Na hiyo ni beipoa na unapata a good cedar post. Now, kuna concrete post. Is in the now when you are on the high budget. Kuna, kuna, kuna nini, kuna plastic post. Now, all these posts are called advantages and disadvantages. I will leave a link on the description on a video I did to explain the advantages and disadvantages of wooden posts. I'm in plans of doing a video about the advantages and disadvantages of concrete posts and easy plastic posts. So, now, with those posts, tafadhali, any fencing, no matter any amount unafanya, uh, of money unatumia, any type of fencing as long as si perimeter wall unaeka, it's temporary fencing. It's not permanent fencing. Kwanza tuelewana hivo. The only thing that you can do, yeah, the only thing that is now, the, the difference between all those posts and barbed wire and nini, is that they prolong Zina, zina extend the life of that fence. But remember, ni temporary. So, kama hii ni, ni treated post and without an untreated, untreated ita kuteku pengine one or two rainy seasons. Treated ineza kuteku even five to ten years. That's the only, but at the end of the day, it's still temporary. Seek it to permanent. So, it's good to note that. Eh? So, in the, put that in your mind. Any ato kitumia concrete, they still have their disadvantages and it is still Temporary. Because kaza hii concrete ya 8 feet na 180 pa, pa feet. Eh? Ukienda concrete ya 10 feet ni hiyo wanakuzi ya na 170 pa feet. That's 1700 pa pole. Can you imagine the cost implication on that? Eh? And then ukufanye sabi ya post kama 50. Eh? Post kama 50 ni more than 50 Gs. We are talking about almost... Uh, almost 75k for just 50 posts. Even if even you had it by had it. So guys, let's watch to kubaliane that any type of fencing is temporary. Now, iki kujani misumari, this is the ratio I can give you. To mia for 40 posts, sasa we utafanya sabu for 40 posts, to mia very kgs. Eh? For and then sasa you can do the ratio. Unaezata kama ukona 60 post, tumia about, sasa utafanya hiyo esabu, uta, utaona ni 4 kgs. No, na for 60 post. Hivo, hivo, uende na hiyo ratio. Kama ni simiti, na koronga, for, eh, for 3 wheelbarrows, na 3 wheelbarrows na koronga, you get about 15 to 20 post, depending on the size of mashimo zenyona, tumia. So 3 wheelbarrows of cement, 3 wheelbarrows of sand, and 3 wheelbarrows of Kokoto and one bag of cement are enough for about 15 posts, depending on where. Sometimes when there's a stretch, and sometimes in a itakuwa too about that. So use that, and then remember on these corners, as weke misumari, so always have about one or two kgs, depending on the number of bricks and corners you have. Za, zile four inch, ama three inch nails, zile za kupigilia corners. So much appreciated, and tunashukuru sana. Or, and we are so happy for that. So guys, go. Remember to support our channel by hiring us for your services, for our services. And thank you for watching our videos and hope that you are getting something in return. Thank you. Bye.